I'm standing here with the lead singer of Head PE. It's the 11th of March. What's your biggest 9-11 lie? What's the biggest thing that sticks out about 9-11? Well, here's the thing is everyone's like, the truth needs to come out. But really, if you think about it, the truth is out because we all know the truth. But everybody wants to hear the truth on television or have the governments acknowledge the truth. I wouldn't hold my breath on that one because what you've got is a new world that's being birthed and an old world that's dying and they're rubbing against each other. So you've got these forces who are holding on for all their might. They're not going to let the truth come out on television. They're not going to let the government, you know, uh, come out with the truth, you know. So that's my thing. The truth needs to come out. The truth is out. All of us fucking know it. Another, that, thi another that thing that I need to say is like, People are oversimplifying things like, oh, the government, fuck the government. No, not fuck the government. There's a small group in the, in the government. Some people are in, the government is supposed to be part of us, you know. So as we move closer into a new age, there should be politicians who are like, you know, who are good people. So for, what, the, what the power wants to do is alienate us from the government so that we all go, oh, fuck the whole government. That way That's we're that. just like, we turn our back and then they get to do whatever the fuck they yeah, want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Another thing, people are like, oh, you don't elect your leaders. The leaders are selected. Oh, really? Then why are they always trying to fraud elections? Why in our country did they have to... Did they have to put Bush in through the Supreme Court? Because elections do fucking matter. Okay, so that's another fucking lie. What's another thing that's hilarious to me is three years ago, all the truth movement people were like, oh, the president doesn't have any power. The president in my country, right? Oh, the president, that doesn't mean shit. It's all the bankers. Now they've done this ingenious thing where everybody's mad at Obama. Well, I thought the president have any, didn't have any power. Now everyone's yeah. focused on this one guy, yeah. Obama. Like yeah. he's, the, he's, he's the devil. You're fucking, you know, everyone needs to wake up to that. There's a lot of liars in the truth movement. Yeah. And the fact that they could, within a few years, have you going, the president doesn't have any power to have you going, Obama, Obama. <laughs> Which one is it? Make a fucking choice, you know? <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, it's man. just ridiculous, you know? People need to quit focusing on one person like Obama or Bush or Cheney. It, Cheney. It's just ridiculous. If you listen to what Obama says, he says the right things. George Bush said all the wrong things. So if Obama's bad or whatever, he doesn't say it and he doesn't act like it if you look in his eyes. Yeah. So people who are like, ah, fuck Obama, I think they've, they're fooled. You know, and again, though, he's just one guy and he's just one guy in the middle of a fully corrupt system. So I think people who who focus their fucking hatred on Obama have lost it. You know, and another thing about the truth movement is we're, we're the reason why we're here is to lift our vibrations and to be like and live in joy and peacefulness and happiness. So a problem I find with people who concentrate on the Illuminati and the truth movement is they get all fucking pissed off and shit, you know, and so they're like, Urgh. and you know what, when you're like, Urgh, you're part of the problem, That's you it. know, because Mother That's Earth has to take a negative vibration. I mean, whether you're mad at Obama or mad at George Bush, you're still just mad. And that vibration of anger and rage is the same. And that's what they want to do. The power wants you mad. They don't care how you're mad. Like, they've done a great job of making people mad at Obama, you know? Yeah. So you're mad still. You were mad at Bush, now you're mad at him. So they're still winning. The thing is, it, it, learning about the truth movement should create empowerment, which tells you, I don't have to be mad. They want me to be mad. I'm not going to be mad. You know what that's I mean? That, I'm that's not that's a victim. That's you it. know? You recognize that they have this whole game, they want you to be a consumer and buy all their shit so yeah and so you don't buy it you don't buy their shit you don't listen to their bullshit and you create a beautiful life in your neighborhood with your neighbors with your girlfriend and all that see that's my problem with people in the truth movement is they they get to one place and they just stay there because it feeds their their need to be angry and feel like a victim so before they were a victim now they're still a victim but they know why they're a victim but they still are mad so yeah. that's my most important thing is that you need to use the knowledge to feel like oh the whole reason i'm here is to feel good about life and power. remember that i'm a fucking a god i'm you know i'm a powerful earthling you know and um i'm part of a galactic society 
you know. So that's my. See, I'm n I'm never short for words. <laughs> this is my life. This ain't no awesome, fake shit. Man, you know, awesome. this is you. It's what I'm really, all about. Due respect. I've, like I said, I've only just got you guys the past couple like year. I have known about you before. When my girlfriend here turned me on to you guys and the Thank new you. the new World Dolphins album yeah. just blew my fucking head off. You speak about everything I listen to right. and everything I'm paying attention to. And to be honest, I'm just. The show nice was awesome camera. tonight. It's a nice camera. The show was awesome tonight. We got a show and we are, we are changed Glasgow. Thanks so much for talking to us. I'm not going to keep you for your after party. Oh, my pleasure, longer, dude. But um, I'm on the MySpace here away a couple of times. No, see, hit me up. I'll here. put your link on. My, my name's Bobby. I've got a flyer that somebody threw away. I already here. got one earlier, yeah, but give me another. Give me one. another. Sorry, give me that one. <laughs> <laughs> keep the shitty one, eh? Keep the shitty one. Um, but yeah, I mean, and this is great, and like I say, like 9-11, almost 10 years ago, right? And so I think it's great, and certain people have certain jobs to do, and to like to try and get the, the truth out. But like I said earlier, the truth is out. Just and there. I just don't, I don't like to see people um, spending too much of their time angry. Yeah. You know. Spread the love, not the fear. Exactly, because that's what they want you to do. Spread they the want you to know 9-11's an inside job. And they want you to think like, well, what can I do? Nothing, you know. Nothing's gonna happen. You're sitting there thinking, everything's gonna happen. So it's like this, you don't buy their products, you don't eat their shitty food, don't drink their shitty sodas. Yeah. Create a beautiful life. Don't buy into their fear, buy into the love. Live a joyful life. That's the best way to combat the new world order. Awesome, man. Thank you, brother. Um, Thank you. It's all a pleasure, dude. Thank you, Thanks man. God bless. God bless. We are changed. My Thanks pleasure. Thanks very much, man. You guys have a good night. Man. Deuce, deuce, motherfucker. Nice Make it great, you know? <laughs> Camera guy. What's up? No, hug. Love all the way around, man. Thanks very much, man. All right. Thank you. Take it easy. Yeah. Right now. So that was us. We are changed. Glasgow. Speaking of Jared. After the gig. What cool guy, man. These guys know what they're talking about. I come and see them at my own spare time. Blue Lagoon. And, uh, and they rock, man. They know what they're talking about. That was awesome. Catch a packet, man. Say Joe. Say, say, say Joe for We Are Change Glasgow. Judy, Nick, Al, Sean. Out. <laughs> See you.